Being a healthy weight and eating a balanced diet, which is low in saturated fat and high in fiber and whole grains, uh, and help reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes from developing. The risk of heart disease can also be reduced by having a healthy diet that includes rich in fruits, vegetables, low fat uh, dairy, and whole grains, which maintains uh, blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Um, a diet which is rich in calcium keeps your bone and teeth strong and can also help you slow down uh, bone loss, osteoporosis, um, associated with people getting older, which occurs mostly in your lower back. Um, and eating a diet uh, which includes lots of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and a moderate amount of uh, unsaturated fats, dairy, and a meat, uh, and meat can help an individual to maintain a steady weight and have control um, over their own weight. The effects of poor nutrition. So hypertension, this is when um, there's um, high blood pressure. So eating too much junk food, fried food, uh, salt, sugar, dairy products, caffeine and refined food can all cause um, hypertension because all the amount of sugar you actually put into your system. High cholesterol and heart disease. So the National Institute of Health reports that uh, more than 500,000 people in the United States die each year due to heart disease which can be caused by a high fat diet. So this is referring to obesity. Cancer, so not limiting the intake of refined sugars, nitrates and hydro, um, hydro, <laughs> hydrogenated oils, uh, including hot dogs, processed meat, bacon, donut, and um, french fries. So obviously this is not taking the right nutrients. You put too much fat into your body and obviously it's not balanced at all. However, the definition of processed food is um, processed food is any food that can be altered in any way during preparation. So most unhealthy diets have processed foods, but however, say some processed foods are not like bad for you, they're actually good. So say milk, 